हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई वी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कास्टिंग एंड इट्स रिलेटेड टर्म्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द वीडियो फॉर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल बाई प्रेसिंग द रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन बिलो डू फॉलो इन फेसबुक गूगल प्लस एंड ट्विटर ऑल द लिंक्स आर गिव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन डू चेक आउट माई न्यू वेबसाइट द लिंक इज गिव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड डू वॉच माई अदर वीडियो इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन नाउ कास्टिंग इज द मैनुफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इन विच अ मोल्टन मेटल दैट इज अ मेटल विच इज फर्स्ट हीटेड अब इट्स मेल्टिंग पॉइंट दैन दिस मोल्टन मेटल is used to form mechanical components so this is the casting process and it is the most famous and widely used manufacturing process so there are various terms that how manufacturing of uh, process manufacturing of component by casting process is done so i am going to explain you first this is the first this is the pouring basin here the molten metal from the ladle is poured in this basin now ladle is the vessel in which the molten metal is carried so molten metal from ladle it is poured into the pouring basin then this molten metal it travels down through a vertical opening which is known as sprue then after that when it it has reached to the bottom then it travels horizontally the molten metal travels horizontally then this horizontal portion is known as runner after that it finally reaches the cavity so this is the cavity this hole is the cavity and this blue hashed portion this is known as core now if we require hollow component then core is placed core is used and placed in the molten cavity if a hollow component is required if no hollow component is required and solid component is required then core is not placed after that in order to ensure that whether the cavity is completely filled or not we provide extra opening it is known as riser so that when we pour the molten metal from here and we see that a molten metal is coming out from the riser till then we fill the cavity in order to ensure that the, that the cavity is completely filled and uh, also the riser it works to compensate when the shrinkage occurs so it compensate for that also that it provides extra material extra molten material back when the solidification starts and uh, these are the vent rods now these are metallic rods that are placed and they are uh, deep they are put deep in the cavity then they are pulled out so when they are pulled out a hollow section a hollow pipe like will be created in the so this will create the vent holes from from uh, inside to the outside now mainly sand is used for making the cope and drag now this is the upper portion is known as cope lower portion is known as drag just it, it is a name terminology and the area where these two cope and drag meet this is known as parting line and the cope and drag they are usually made of sand silica sand and uh, the sand can be dry or wet now wet sand is known as green sand so you have understood these then these are the chills they are metallic components that are placed in the sand in cope and drag both regions in order to ensure faster solidification chill they carry away the heat all right so that it solidify at fast time now this is the pattern pattern this shape is used to put in cope this is used to put in drag when the pattern is used here in the cope and then taken out then we will get this shape hollow and similarly in drag when we put this lower piece 
and we take out then we will get the remaining cavity and we when we join cope and drag we get the complete cavity now there is one term more uh, chaplets now chaplets are the supporting structure to the core now chaplets are metallic pieces or wooden pieces or uh, ceramic pieces that are used in order to support the core because the core itself cannot withstand the pressure of the flowing molten metal so in order to support them these two chaplets are used uh, minimum two are used and more than two can be also used so i hope you have understood that uh, how casting is done and once the pattern is solidified then this mold is break the mold is broken and then this pat this solidified component is taken out then further finished to obtain the required component final component i hope you have understood what is casting and what are the various terms related to casting if you have found this video helpful please share this video please press the like button and do not forget to subscribe till next time take care bye bye